Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced <laughs> Welcome. If you're not new here, welcome back to. My name is Nautia Wai, better known as Beauty Rebellion. And today's video is going to be a hair tutorial. I know that most of my hair tutorials are usually rushed through. I'm usually just trying to get the install done and just show you guys. But today's video, I actually did like start to finish. I showed you guys how I bleach my knot how I pluck them, like the whole nine. This video is beginner friendly. So if you've never installed a wig by yourself before, hopefully it gives you some confidence to try to install your wig on your own. So um, yeah, today's video is going to be an install video on this bomb lace front that I got from Unice Hair. Shout out to Unice, they're my faves. Um, shout out to them. And yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. So I got a lot of nice goodies with my package. So I'll start off with a quick unboxing. Along with my wig, I received this super cute robe. I'm going to take it out the package so y'all can see the color. Literally, it's so cute. It has their name on the front and on the back of it. Um, they also sent me this little baggie inside of the baggie. They sent me some lashes, um, some hair clips, a nude cap and a hair scarf. And inside of the box with my wig came a custom elastic band which I cannot wait to use. It's Velcro on the ends, so I don't have to worry about tying it in the back. Um, another hair scarf and also my wig. The wig they sent me is their 26 inch 13 by four deep curly lace frontal wig. The lace is HD. As you can see, the knots are very visible. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I get rid of those noticeable knots and customize it. First thing you'll need is some powder bleach, a bottle of developer. I like to use 40 volume. You're also gonna need a hair dye brush and a bowl to mix in. So in this bleach, it comes with a little scooper to scoop the bleach out with and measure how much you're using. I like to personally use two scoops of this bleach. I noticed that usually that's a good amount for my 13 by four frontal unit. I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of that developer to my powder bleach. For me, I can pretty much like eyeball it. I just don't like to use too much. Um, and don't worry if you do add too much, you can always just go back in and add one more scoop of that powder bleach like I ended up doing. You want the consistency of your mix to be thick like a paste not watery so it doesn't seep through and bleach the hairs on your wig you just wanted to bleach the knots if your brush can stand up straight in your mix without tipping over like this then it's thick enough in my opinion so yeah now it's time to go ahead and add that mix to our frontal but first i'm going to hot comb my frontal hairs backwards just to make sure all the hairs are out of the way and laying in the right direction before I add my bleach. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my wig inside out so that the inside of the lace is facing me. And then with a butter knife, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that mix of the developer and the lightener onto my frontal. Once I have it all on there, I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes. 
to wash out my wig, I like to use Clairol's Shimmer Light Shampoo and Conditioner for blonde and silver hair, just to make sure that those knots are not brassy. And then I wash a second time in deep condition with my silicone mix shampoo and conditioner treatment. This is how the hair looks after I washed it. This hair's curl pattern is so pretty. Okay, now that the frontal is bleached, on to the customization part. For this, you'll need a mannequin head of your choice and some T-pins. Just go ahead and pin that wig down. plucking the hairline. Y'all, I used to be scared of plucking too much. But honestly, I noticed that the more you pluck, the more the hairline looks more natural. Um, so just pluck to your liking. Take out as much hair as you would like. Um, and yeah, by the time you're done, you should have a lot of hair plucked out like this much. And again with my hot comb, I'm just pressing that hair back into the direction we need it to be laying. Um, and now to define my curls, I like to use this 2-in-1 leave-in conditioning detangler. I mean it says it's for kids, but it works so well on all my curly wigs. So I love to use it in all my curly wigs. can see I already have my bald cap glued down so all I have to do now is just go ahead and glue my wig on um, I have a lot of other videos where I'm showing you guys how to apply the bald cap so if you guys are interested in that then I will leave one of the videos in my description box the lace glue that I'm going to be using for this install is the bold hold active glue i don't know guys i'm starting not to like it i haven't used it in a while so this is my first time using it in a long time so i will be able to tell you guys after this install if i liked it or not but the first couple times that i used it i didn't really like it so here we go we're trying it again um, i'm gonna go ahead and add two layers of this glue and then once the two layers dry completely, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my wig. Even though we bleached those knots, girls, the lace itself can sometimes still be too light. So you do wanna go ahead and tint your lace whether you use a makeup foundation or a lace tint just go ahead and do that um as you can see here i'm cutting off the excess lace on the back of my wig and there's two clips in the back of the wig because i have a small head i like to just go ahead and clip those clips together just for extra you know extra security when i put my wig on it could be extra fitted I'm um, going ahead and putting my wig on now. I'm not going to talk too much. I'm just going to let y'all watch.
finished look. I'm absolutely loving the natural curl pattern, um, the fullness, how big it is. So I'm not going to go in and define my curls again since I already, you know, I did that before installing it. I'm not going to do it again. Shout out to Unice once again for sponsoring this video. I would not, and I'm going to say this once, I would not be promoting Unice hair if the quality was not good. So you can definitely take my word for that. Um, I have not been dissatisfied with any of the wigs that Unice has sent me. If you're an active follower, supporter, watcher of mine, viewer, then you know that I'm always promoting Unice hair because not only because they send me the hair, but because I actually really do love the quality. Other than my own hairline, um, Unice is one of the hair companies that I would definitely recommend. So definitely check them out, shout out to them. This wig is fire, this wig is perfect. This is definitely, definitely given what it's supposed to give, okay? is definitely given what it's supposed to give. So shout out to you nice once again, shout out to Chloe. Um, Make sure before you leave this video, you give me a thumbs up, you leave a comment if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. <laughs> Bye. Uh, I'm a dead, you're the dead, uh